great dinner table. Lie on. I want to take you to a scene that every runner has experienced. You are at a family dinner or a holiday gathering. You mentioned that you are training for a marathon, or maybe just that you ran 10 kilometers that morning. And suddenly the expert of the family speaks up. Usually it's an uncle sitting on the couch or a friend who hasn't seen the inside of a gym in a decade. They look at you with pity and say, be careful, you are going to ruin your knees. You only have a finite number of steps. Don't waste them. By the time you are 50, you will be walking with a cane. Running is just bone rubbing on bone. This is the wear and tear theory of aging. It is the belief that the human body is like a car tire. If you drive a car for 100,000 miles, the tires get bald. The tread wears down. They never grow back. So, logic dictates that if you run 100,000 miles, your cartilage wears down. It disappears. And you are left crippled. It sounds logical. It sounds intuitive. But it is scientifically 100% false. Your body is not a car tire. A car tire is dead material. Your body is living tissue. Dead material degrades with stress. Living tissue adapts to stress. Today, I am going to prove to you, using modern biomechanics and mechanobiology, that running does not destroy your knees. In fact, if done correctly, running is the only thing that can regenerate them. We are going to explore how your cartilage actually feeds, how you can thicken the shock absorbers in your knees, and the specific biohack you can use to protect your joints for life. The Anatomy of the Shock Absorber To understand why your uncle is wrong, you first need to understand what articular cartilage actually is. Cartilage is that white, shiny, smooth substance that covers the ends of your bones where they meet in a joint. It is slippery, five times more slippery than ice on ice. Its job is to allow smooth movement and absorb shock. Now here is the strange biological fact that causes all the confusion. Cartilage is a vascular. This means it has no blood vessels. Your muscles have blood vessels. Your bones have blood vessels. Your skin has blood vessels. If you cut your muscle, it bleeds and the blood brings nutrients to heal it. But cartilage? It is an isolated island. No blood flows into it. So for decades, doctors thought, well, if it has no blood supply, it cannot heal. Once it's gone, it's gone. This is where the wear and tear myth was born, but they missed the mechanism. If cartilage doesn't get food from blood, like, how does it stay alive? And it feeds through a process called diffusion. And diffusion requires one specific trigger, compression. The sponge analogy, why rest kills your knees. I want you to imagine a kitchen sponge. Let's say you have a dirty sponge full of old water. How do you clean it? You put it in a bucket of fresh, soapy water. But if you just let the sponge float there, does it get clean? No. The fresh water cannot get into the center of the sponge. To clean the sponge, you have to squeeze it. When you squeeze, compression, you push the old, dirty water out. When you let go, decompression, the sponge expands and sucks the fresh, nutrient-rich water in. Your knee cartilage is that sponge. Every time your foot hits the ground while running, you apply force. You squeeze the cartilage. You push out waste products. Every time you lift your foot into the air, the flight phase, you release the pressure. The cartilage expands and sucks in synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is the soup inside your knee joint. It is full of oxygen and nutrients. This cycle squeeze, release, squeeze, release is the pump of life for your joints. This is the only way your cartilage eats. Now think about the sedentary person on the couch. They are not impacting. They are not squeezing the sponge. Their cartilage is sitting there, stagnant. It is starving. Without the pump, the cartilage starts to thin out. It becomes brittle. It starts to decay. This is why osteoarthritis is actually more common in sedentary people than in recreational runners. Running didn't ruin their knees. 
sitting ruined their knees. Motion is the lotion. The science of mechanotransduction. Let's go one layer deeper into the molecular science. When you run, you're not just pumping fluid, you are sending a chemical signal. This process is called mechanotransduction. Mechano means physical force. Transduction means converting that force into a biological signal. Inside your cartilage, there are cells called chondrocytes. These are the construction workers of your knee. When you run, the physical impact shakes these cells awake. The vibration tells the nucleus of the cell, we are under load. We need to get stronger to handle this. The chondrocytes respond by producing more collagen and proteoglycans, the proteins that make cartilage tough. There are studies using MRI scans that show that after a 10-week return to running program, beginners actually showed an increase in the thickness and quality of their knee cartilage. They didn't wear it down, they built it up. They literally thickened their tires by driving the car. The load error, why knees do get hurt. Okay coach, I hear you saying, if running is so magical, why do my knees hurt? Why does every runner I know have patellofemoral pain syndrome or runner's knee? This is a fair question. The problem is not the activity, running. The problem is the dosage and the mechanics. Let's go back to the sponge analogy. If you squeeze a sponge, it cleans itself. But if you take a hammer and smash the sponge 10,000 times in an hour, you will tear the material apart. Most runners injure their knees because of two reasons. One, too much, too soon. They take a starving sponge, sedentary cartilage, and suddenly expose it to marathon training. The tissue hasn't had time to adapt. Mechanotransduction takes months, not days. Two, the braking force. This is the big one. It's not about landing, it's about how you land. Most amateur runners overstride. They throw their foot far out in front of their body. They land on their heel with a straight leg. When you do this, you are effectively putting on the brakes with every step. You create a massive shock wave that bypasses the muscles, which should absorb the shock, and goes straight into the joint and the bone. You aren't using the sponge, you are hammering the bone. The protocol, how to bulletproof your knees. So how do we run to regenerate cartilage without tearing it? We need a protocol. We need to change the physics of your running. Step one, the cadence hack, 170 plus seconds per minute. This is the single most effective way to reduce knee pain instantly. Most runners have a low cadence, around 150 or 160 steps per minute. This usually means big, heavy, bounding steps. I want you to increase your cadence to 170 to 180 steps per minute. Now, I know what you are thinking. Coach, if I try to run at 180 steps per minute, I look like a cartoon character. It feels unnatural. That is okay. Do not try to jump from 150 to 180 overnight. Aim for a 5% increase. Use technology to help you. Download a metronome app on your phone. Set it to 170. Or find a Spotify playlist called 170 BPM Running. Let the beat dictate your feet. Why? Because shorter steps mean you land under your hips. You stop overstriding. Studies show that increasing your cadence by just 5 to 10% can reduce the load on the knee joint by up to 20%. Same speed, same distance, but 20% less damage per step. You turn your run from a series of crashes into a series of taps. Step two, the soft knees cue. When you run, imagine you are trying to sneak up on someone. Run quietly. To run quietly, you naturally bend your knees slightly upon landing. A bent knee engages the quad muscle. The quad acts as the spring. If the muscle takes the load, the joint is spared. If you run with straight legs, the joint takes everything. The biohack, nutrient timing for collagen. Now, let's talk about nutrition. For years, people said, 
Collagen supplements don't work because the stomach digests them. New research led by scientists like Dr. Keith Barr has changed the narrative. It's not about if you take collagen, it's about when. And let me be clear, I am not selling you a supplement. I don't care which brand you buy. Go to the grocery store and get the cheapest hydrolyzed collagen or even plain gelatin powder. The brand doesn't matter, the timing matters. Remember, cartilage feeds like a sponge. If you take collagen and sit on the couch, the nutrients float in your blood but never get into the knee because there is no blood supply to the joint. If you run without nutrients, you are pumping the sponge with empty water. The protocol one. Take 15 grams of hydrolyzed collagen plus 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Two, wait 30 to 45 minutes. This allows the amino acids to peak in your blood. Three, then go for your run. By timing it this way, you ensure that exactly when you are pumping the sponge, running, your blood is saturated with the raw materials needed to build cartilage. You force the nutrients into the tissue. This is targeted nutrition. This is biohacking. The interactive self-audit. Check your mechanics. I want you to do a test on your next run. You don't need a lab. You need your ears. Take out your headphones for two minutes. Listen to your feet hitting the pavement. Do you hear slap? 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 Is it loud? Is it scraping? That sound is energy leaving your body and destroying your joints. That is the sound of breaking. Now, try to make it silent. Tap, <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Increase the cadence. Land softer. The moment the sound disappears, you have stopped destroying your knees and started building them. Beyond the knees, the membership. We have covered the mechanics of the knee, but building a resilient body involves more than just cadence. In the exclusive membership channel, we explore additional tools, recovery methods, and the deeper science of longevity for runners. If you want to support the channel and learn more about how to keep running for life, the link to join is in the description. You are anti-fragile. I want to leave you with a concept from Nassim Taleb. Anti-fragility. A glass is fragile. If you drop it, it breaks. A plastic cup is robust. If you drop it, it stays the same. But the human body? The human body is anti-fragile. If you drop it, stress it, it gets stronger. Your knees are not car tires. They are not waiting to wear out. They are waiting for you to use them. They are begging for the signal to rebuild. Don't be afraid of the pavement. Respect it adjust your cadence, time your nutrition, and go run. You aren't running your knees into the ground. You are building the armor that will carry you when you are 80. My contact details for personalized coaching are in the pinned comment. Send me a message if you want to build a plan that respects your biomechanics. See you in the next video. Run smart, your running journey powered by science.